Why doesn't God simply forgive us of all our sins? Why do we need the mess and the agony of the cross? Why does He need that agony and that mess? Why is atonement so elaborate? In the Old Testament, it's prefigured through millions of animal deaths. In the New Testament, it's purchased with the blood of God. Isn't that all a bit messy, a bit painful, a bit unnecessary? Surely in computing terms, Jesus could just open up our sin folder, click select all, and drag it all into the recycling bin. Wouldn't that be easier? Wouldn't it just be good to painlessly transfer all that junk into the delete folder and be done with it? Simple, right? Well, if we think that that's how forgiveness works, uh, we've clearly never tried it. Uh, forgiveness is always deeply sacrificial. It's painful. It's costly. It's messy. And Proverbs observes in chapter 15, verse 1, exactly how costly it is. Proverbs 15, verse 1, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Have you ever been in an argument of stirring up anger? You're just exchanging harsh words with one another, back and forwards it goes. And as this verse describes, anger is being stirred up and stirred up and stirred up. It's a vicious cycle developing as you both descend into increasing harshness. In this situation, what would it mean to answer the other person with genuine gentleness? If they've spoken harsh words, which Proverbs 12 verse 8 says, pierce like a sword. If they've been piercing you with a sword with their harsh words, what is it like to make a soft answer, a gentle answer? Well, it's painful. It's hard. This is not like dragging some files into, into, the, into the recycling bin. It's not a simple matter of forgiving and forgetting. It involves heart-wrenching sacrifice. And that's exactly how this proverb describes it. You see, turns away wrath is a phrase that the Bible associates with sacrifices. It's blood sacrifices that turn away wrath. That's how atonement works. Anger is turned away from you because it's turned on the sacrifice instead. And Proverbs says, if you're in an argument and you answer someone gently, it's like being a human sacrifice. If you've, ever, if you've ever tried it, you know that that is how it feels. Forgiveness is always sacrificial. And nowhere is this more true than at the cross. In the Bible, the cross is described as the place where Jesus turns away God's wrath. It's a propitiatory sacrifice. So that's uh, Romans 3 verse 25 or 1 John 4 verse 10. At the cross, the wrath of God is turned away from us and turned onto Jesus, his son. So here's a way of thinking about the cross. Imagine all our harsh words against heaven, thrusting the sword up to heaven. Imagine all our grievous rebellion like sword thrusts that pierce his heart. And now think of his gentle answer. Think of Jesus. There he is receiving the blow. There he is refusing to lash back. He, he opens his arms wide and absorbs our hatred. In this way, he turns away wrath. This is how Christ's grace heals and restores us through costly sacrifice. To give us peace, He takes wrath. Which means two things. Firstly, do you think God is angry with you? If God were to address you personally now, do you think He'd have harsh words or gentle? Look again to the cross. In the words of Stuart Townend's song, Jesus took the blame and bore the wrath so that we stand forgiven at the cross. Look to the one sacrificed for you and know that he is God's gentle answer to you, bringing peace and reconciliation. That's the first thing to know. Secondly, know this. If you know Christ's forgiveness, well, are there those in your life that you need to hand it on to? Are there those who you need to forgive? Are you in a cycle of harsh words with somebody? Surely it's time to bring the way of the cross to bear on that situation. Surely it's time to turn away wrath to answer gently, to bring peace. Our gentle answers may hurt, but they can't be more damaging than our harsh words. Isn't it time to break the cycle? As Paul says in Romans chapter 12, verse 21, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Mm -hmm.